Hey guys. Hey, we just finished up our first chapter here and getting ready to move on to chapter two. But before we do, I want to talk about that sidebar article about there's apps for everything. And there's a lot of apps for HVAC. Here's one that uh, I like to use. It is made by Emerson and it is a superheat calculator. It also converts your vapor pressure to the saturated temperature. If you take your bulb temperature measurement on the suction line, it also calculates the superheat. It will um, do it for different refrigerants, and just about every refrigerant you can think of is listed. So this takes the place of, of a pressure temperature chart. It's a great app. There's many more like it. If you go to your app store and search for um, HVAC apps, there's plenty of them out there. Now, before we move on to Chapter 2, I know you've probably looked forward into Chapter 2 and are dreading this next course of instruction. But the good thing is there's apps for everything. So we are not going to have to memorize any formulas, but you are going to have to pass the exam. So you're going to do this by finding apps that work for you. I found this app free and it is one that will calculate the radius, circumference, or area of a circle and will do it for other shapes as well. There is also one that will convert any unit of measure including temperature, PSIG, and so forth and it will convert it from whatever measurement scale you want to whatever scale that you would like and gives you the answer and gives you the formula down here at the bottom. All right, so these apps are tools, just like the tools in your tool bag, that you can use to be more efficient and more accurate in your job. And it's very important that you learn to use these, much more so than learning algebraic formulas to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So you are going to have to find apps that will work for you, that you like and are familiar with, to complete this next course of instruction and pass the exam, but they are available for you to use. We will have some lectures on key points, but nothing about memorizing formulas or, or converting uh, to the metric system. Okay, so good news for you, good news, news for me, because I wasn't looking forward to teaching that. And uh, if there's any questions, just give me a holler.